Today I'm showing you how you can make a T flip flop inside of Minecraft. And basically what a T flip flop does is if it, if you take for example the redstone signal of a button which turns off and then on again, um, as you can see a T flip flop will turn that into a constant signal. So we can do that again here, I'll show you guys. So we got a button, yeah, um, there we go, and as you can see this button, we press it, redstone signal turns on, and then it turns off again once we've done pressing it, yeah. However, for this button, we press it once, and then this redstone signal t stays on forever until we press it again to turn it off. And that's basically it. All the materials you will need, you can see in my hotbar. So let's get right in, shall we? Anyways, first off, you obviously want to know which direction your redstone is going to be going in. So in our case, this is the way our redstone signal is going to be going. It's going to be going from here all the way over into that direction, basically, um, which means that we want to grab uh, our redstone comparator first off and just place it somewhere in there around the middle. And um, we want to place it with these two dots facing in the direction where the current is coming from and this little dot needs to be in the direction where you're going to be sending your redstone signal towards. What you want to do when that's being placed is go just like this and place a dispenser there. You want this mouth of the dispenser, which is the black part, to be facing away from the comparator. That's how you know you've done it correctly. Yeah, then you want to be on the block which is which which the mouth of the dispenser is facing towards. Look down and then place another dispenser and you want to make sure that the mouth or the black part of this dispenser is facing upwards just like so that's very important and they want to go ahead and crouch and place a third dispenser just like that and for this dispenser you want to make sure that the mouth part which is this is facing in the same direction as this, this little dot of the redstone comparator yeah so right over there they want to grab yourself a hopper you want to crouch and place the hopper on top of there. Make sure that the nozzle that the nozzle of the hopper is facing straight down into this into the dispenser it's on top of, and that the top of the hopper is right here. So finally, just want to place a wooden shovel in the corner dropper right there, which is this one. And now you've basically finished. So let's simulate a redstone current coming from here. As you can see, it gets powered. It's powered off. And now the lights of the comparator are on, and this is going to be constantly powered. Now, as you can see, it's powered incredibly weakly. So what I recommend is for you to place a repeater right um, in front of right right after the that um, comparator right there and that's just gonna strengthen up the redstone signal for you guys um, however if you for example place a redstone um, lamp here then it is just gonna get activated because there is a signal here it's just not very strong yeah anyways basically uh, that was that if you do have any questions whatsoever please feel free to let me know down in the comments below for right now thank you ever so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.